So you want to win the lottery. You want to be a millionaire. And you want to use the law of attraction to do it for you. Folks, there's methods and techniques that you can employ. We talk about them on this channel all the time. They bring alignment. They help us to move in the direction of that dream and to see it come towards us too. But today is something a little bit different. Today is not about a manifesting method. Today is not about a technique. Today is about living in the vision of what you want to manifest and how to do that. If you can live in the vision of what you want to manifest, you're already there. This is sure to be a great one. If you feel like winning the lottery is in your future, if you feel like there's a big windfall of money waiting for you, but there's a few little things to sort out first, this is your video. My name's Ben, welcome to Elevate. Come on, let's jump straight into this one. So thank you for joining me today, folks. I really pray that you're blessed by this video. I pray that it lifts you up and encourages you. Now, if you love your time here, why not subscribe and join the family? I post videos just like this one every day of the week. They're designed to lift you up and to help you achieve your dreams. I also have a private coaching group. You're welcome to check out the link in the description below if you'd like to come and join us and further your knowledge about these sorts of topics. But ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk with you about winning the lottery. It's something we discuss a little bit on this channel because it's something that a lot of people have internal alignment with. But the issue is, for many of the people who feel the alignment to winning the lottery, not only does it not happen for them, but it becomes a point of frustration and it becomes something that builds resentment on the inside and creates a root of bitterness. And when that root of bitterness goes down inside of our heart, that's the root of bitterness that turns us from a believer and a person who is soft and gentle and walks gently with others in the universe to someone who just is stuck in low vibration. That law of attraction stuff doesn't work. That's a waste of time and dreams. What's the point of having a dream? I'm sure you've met people like that. They're no fun to be around, are they? So let's not allow that to happen to us, especially not in the process of recognizing a dream that is actually for you. Ladies and gentlemen, divine powers are always surrounding your energy field when you are walking forward in the vision of your dream. So if you have a resonance and an alignment on the inside where something picks up when they talk about lottery, when someone, when you see a jackpot, when you read a newspaper article, so there's just something on the inside where you know that's for you. If you have that, then it absolutely is for you. The only thing holding you back is the journey between now and then. You see, people often approach the law of attraction with the mindset that says, Oh, you beauty, I've finally found this, this service where I can make a wish I can order this thing from a universal catalog of goods and bang, there it is. Maybe I have to jump on my right leg three times and spin around in a circle, but if I get it just right, if I use the perfect affirmation, if I listen to the right subliminal tape, if I use the right manifesting method, I'll win that lottery. Folks, here's the real talk. Winning the lottery is not about manifesting methods. Winning the lottery is not about affirmations, subliminals. The law of attraction is not a gift-giving service. The law of attraction is the universe's way of journeying you towards your dreams. You see, we stand here and we say, I would really love to manifest a lottery win and I feel aligned to it. And our lottery win, it's over here, and it's waiting for us. The problem is, there's a distance in between, there's a void. That void is your journey to walk. That's where you grow. That's where you learn. That's where you come up higher. You change your subconscious beliefs. You shift from glory to glory, from where you are and who you are, to where and who you want 
to be. Have a little think about this, folks. And this is an analogy or an example that I've used often when I speak about the lottery, but it's powerful and it's true. Think about people who have gone before you and they've won the lottery. Have you ever read an article in the newspaper where such and such won millions of dollars? And now their life, it's just in ruins. They've lost all their family and friends. They've lost relationships. All the money is gone. All the stuff is gone. Oftentimes, they're left with addiction and heartache. Their life is in the gutter. And when these people are interviewed, they say, winning the lottery was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I wish it never happened. And someone like you hears that and thinks, what is wrong with this person? <laughs> the truth is, what is wrong with that person is they never had the journey that allowed them to grow into the person who could handle that manifestation. They never had the journey and walked the path that developed within them the character of a millionaire and the mindset of a millionaire. So when you have millions of dollars, but the mindset and character of a broke person, that will suck all that money away and it'll leave you worse than you started with. So here's the real deal. When you say, yes, I want to win the lottery. Yes, I believe I can manifest that by tapping into the universe and using the law of attraction. Stick with it. Stay with it and know that all you have to do is get through the going through and one day, and one day soon, your time will come. You will not take your final breath without having manifested that thing and seeing all of those zeros on the end of your bank account, on the end of your bank balance. That's not going to happen if you just stay the course. But so many people give up. They say, this thing's not for me. They watch movies like The Secret. And they say, wow, I can have anything I want. And you can. And The Secret's a great movie but it's an introduction. You need to learn the mechanics of the universe and it's simply this. You can have anything that you feel alignment with because if it's in your heart, if it's a dream you have, you've not come up with that on your own. If you've been on this channel for any amount of time, you've heard me talk about dreams. Those dreams in your heart, even the ones that you're afraid to share with others, they're not your own. Those dreams were given to you. They come from the divine. They come from source. And they were given to you so that you can manifest them and live in the fullness of them. But they are the carrot that's dangling out on the end of a stick. You have to walk to that carrot to be able to eat it. It's no good sitting here saying, I can see the carrot and I want it. No, I just, it's just out of reach. No, I'm giving up. This is never going to work. What's the point of that? Just journey, just walk softly and gently, one foot in front of the other and accept that some days they're going to be so good. Some days are going to be so powerful. Some days you'll feel loved and blessed and anointed and in control and in charge and marching on towards your dreams. And other days will be the parallel opposite where you feel rubbish and your vibration is so low. And you feel like a victim and you want to sit in the pocket of that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to be not okay today because tomorrow's a new day. So be kind to yourself. You know, in the counselling work that I've done and all the case studies I read when I was at uni studying counselling, you'd see people and they would journey through this thing and they would give up because they can't make sense of it. And that is one of the biggest problems with the human condition. It's not up to us to make sense of things. It's just up to us to stay the course. You know, the scriptures say where there is no vision, the people perish. If you have no vision for your life, if you have no dream, you will just go around the same mountains of frustration. But if you can dare to dream, if you can dare to come up higher in your thought life, you can manifest those things. So where you feel aligned to winning the lottery, your only job is to keep going through the going through. Keep allowing your mindset to be fine-tuned. Don't allow it to affect your vibration. Don't get bitter. Don't become resentful. Find ways and opportunities each and every day to come up higher and to work on your mindset. Visualize. See yourself as the lottery winner. What are you going to do with the money? Start making a plan for it. Who are you going to bless? 
What home are you going to buy? What great things will you do? What measures will you take so that you can be assured it won't send your life into the gutter like those who have gone before you? Folks, these are the things you can do now in your journey today that will move you forward. Every step you take is a step closer to manifesting that thing. Never forget, the law of attraction will not give to you anything you want, but it will hold your hand as it takes you through a journey of life that creates in you the person who can successfully not just manifest it, but live in the fullness of that manifestation without ruination. Folks, God loves you too much to destroy you with your dream. Your dream is there to be made manifest. Keep walking towards that carrot because that is the journey where the mindset and the heart is created. If you've seen my story on the channel, you'll know that a decade ago I went through a horrific season, one that I thought would destroy me. I suffered a massive nervous breakdown. I lost everything. I spent nearly a year in bed. I thought I'd forgotten how to dream. I thought I'd forgotten how to move forward. But folks, if you've been there and if you've been in the darkness of that hour, I am the proof you can move forward powerfully. Just put one foot in front of the other and be kind to yourself in the process. If you want to win the lottery with the law of attraction and you feel a resonance to it, you feel aligned to it, then this is your dream and it is your dream for one reason and that one reason is for it to come true. Work on your mindset. Keep moving forward. It's the mindset that brings on manifestation. So become the person. Focus on that. Go out every day and say, what actions can I take that align with being that lottery winner? What words can I speak that align with being that lottery winner? Become the person today and the money will flow in. Folks, it really is that simple. It's all about the mindset. Yes, manifesting techniques help. The 55 by 5 quantum jumping, even using Tesla's 369 divine code and adapting it to manifest your dreams can work powerfully. But understand that these things only work to shift mindset and subconscious limiting beliefs. So that's where the work is done. Now that's all I have time for today, folks, but I pray that this has blessed you. I pray this message has lifted your vibration and has shown you that you can in fact achieve that dream of winning all of those millions of dollars in the lottery. Just get through the going through. Learn your lessons well. Enjoy the season for what it is, for soon it will change. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the big thumbs up button if you've been blessed by this so that YouTube might put it in front of other people too. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. I love you. Peace.